is the Glass Cannon Network. Buddies of mine from the Nash, welcome back to Get in the Trunk, the game where I play some Delta Green with my good friends, Skid, Troy, Francis, <gasps> and Sydney. We're all gathered around. Of course, those are their real names. But when we fire up, uh, we fire up our recording software. You name yourself uh, for for these <laughs> things, and oftentimes uh, Troy will put something funny in for his name. Give us all a good laugh. I will uh, <laughs> never put in anything interesting because I still have uh, Grant trauma, which is <laughs> in post-production, him going, just put your name on the track so I know who is who. Uh, and so I always just put Joe every time. Nick, every once in a while, likes to have a little bit of fun. Sydney here and then, or here and there, has some fun. Today, I believe... Is is a first. I think this is a first. Uh, without prior planning, which I, I don't I don't think happened. I could be wrong. Troy entered into the system, and we all knew it was Troy right away <laughs> because it just said poop. <laughs> the name on the track was poop, That's and me. everyone was like, "Hi, Troy." You know, it was it was a uh, it was very very obvious. Uh, lagging behind as usual. <laughs> Was Sydney <laughs> late for the session? Not true. She, Sydney, this is my story. Uh, you'll, you'll get a rebuttal after my time. Okay, is over. okay. Sydney hops in last into the call. Would we say that? Yes, we would, because mm -hmm. that is uh, factually correct. Slips in there as poopy butt, and there we go. The first ever. Double name with the same exact theme without prior planning, and it was poop. Uh, how do you guys think this came to be? Uh, I'll start with Troy. Troy, what do you think led to this moment? <laughs> um, we should do I a think full it's... thirty for thirty on this. Uh, by the way, <laughs> so who are you wearing? And who are you wearing tonight? And how did this come to be? For me, I was tired, and I didn't think this recording was going to happen. Mm -hmm. uh, so when I went through the the uh, the procedures here to get started, I was just like, ah, poop. Oh, <laughs> That's what I put poop. up there. I have to put a name in a thing I don't feel like doing. Ah, poop. poop. And that was the, the cleanest one I've ever put up there. Yeah. Oh, well, so that's why this has never come up in banter because yeah. every single one <laughs> is unsayable on it. <laughs> really uh, horrible in so many different ways. Uh, <laughs> so different was, levels. I like just put it out there because you don't know when I'm putting it out there and I'll just throw something just horrible and then I'll sit back and just start working and then I just slowly watch other people log in and be like, oh my God. We're <laughs> 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 just busting up. But today it was just poop. Just keeping it simple. Yeah. Keeping it. Simple. Uh, expounding on that was Sydney, who took it to another level. Mm -hmm. She added the butt. Sid, your thoughts. Uh, yeah. How did you come to poopy butt? If I may. <laughs> I, <laughs> um, ahem, excuse me. I was not late. I was having <laughs> tech trouble. And I think, funny enough, like Francis had said earlier, Great butts think alike. <laughs> I, in a similar mindset to Troy, was annoyed at my tech trouble. Oh. I had already logged in as mm. Sydney. I did my normal name. And then when I had to log back in, I just thought, ah, shit. So annoying. And then I also thought poop. But <laughs> I wasn't so crass as to just simply put poop. I had to extrapolate and it say- It light, should lighten the mood a little bit. <laughs> poopy, which is hilarious, as we all can agree- Poopy butt, and that's how I landed on that. Now, what is it, a poopy, a poopy butt? Is it just a butt that's covered in poop, like a real uh, no, butt? Like, like an poop? infant, like no, a, that's a poopy butt? Like a or no, 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 that's, that's too simple. I think it's more of a mindset. Like, Troy, when you drink a kombucha, the there, somewhere in the back of your head, you're thinking poopy butt, because it's going to happen. That's what it's made for. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that. <laughs> it is? Wait, yes. it's, are you talking about, so poopy butt is a term to describe... Food and drink that it that has a laxative nature to it. 
<laughs> no, right. no, it's thinking just, that like this is going to make me eventually have a, a poopy yes, butt situation. Yeah, it's just yeah. like it could happen to anyone. It could happen at any poop. time. Oh, wait, so it's so a butt full of poop. Does a poopy butt happen every time one poops? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, well, now I'm confused again. <laughs> Sydney said yes. I was under she the impression agreed. a poopy butt was a butt that was full I'm, or soon to be full of poop. I'm going to cry. But you're saying that every poop is a poopy butt. That's just, <laughs> these are two different things. I'm going to cry. I just thought it was nice. I just thought it was nice that Troy. It is, <laughs> Troy it is nice. And I, <laughs> Troy and I are just such top tier athletes. And we. <laughs> we <laughs> I can't. I can't. <laughs> Got a real poopy butt moment here. Yeah, it's a real it poopy butt intro. You uh, make me cry. I mean, I appreciate yeah. the context because I mean, poop is just it's just a poop, but the poopy oh. butt it's it's you know you know where the poop right. is. Right. It's it's oh. it's all over the butt. Yeah. Uh, you know. Do you guys do you say poopy more than than shit? Because you have kids. Are you like do you change your vernacular? <laughs> Are you like ah? Po- poopy like i want to say shit but i'm saying poopy <laughs> yeah. i don't ever say poopy i, I want to make that clear first of all <laughs> say poop poop it is what it is it's poop all right do you yeah. guys do you guys censor yourselves around your kids i i hang around my friends kids and i'm just cursing left and right and i'm like oh shit it's hard. sorry <laughs> yeah, it's hard to censor my oh, wife's always yelling at me yeah, I, I got in trouble the other day. Like, I, I try to keep it under control, and it's not too difficult for me when I'm with them, but I just got, I, <laughs> between us, I just got in trouble the other day because I came out of, a, out of a recording, and my wife was like, you have to stop cursing at the top of your lungs <laughs> when you're recording these shows because you could just hear it, like, all through the house. And I was like... <laughs> Did I really curse th- like that loud during the show? <laughs> and, and she's like, yeah. And then I hear my son and he's just like, daddy talks so loud when he does his shows that it is annoying. <laughs> <laughs> just like that. And I was just like, oh man. So yeah, I'm trying to pare it back. I mean, it's easy for me when I'm around them, but then I forget sometimes that I'm in earshot of them and that, you know, for our shows, I really shouldn't be screaming curses at the top of my lung into a microphone. Nobody nobody wins with that. <laughs> Unless it's like the perfect moment and it's going to make you laugh, you know? Like if you get the right F-bomb at the right time and it's oh, loud yeah. and you land it and it's like really funny, nothing can replace that. Poopy doesn't I, work. Hey, there's two examples that I bring up with this. One is the movie Galaxy Quest. Mm-hmm. There's the moment where they're trying to work their way through the chompers, like in the engine room and everything. And Sigourney Weaver realizes that they have to go through this thing. And she, in the finished version of the film, she says, well, screw that. But she's clearly saying, well, fuck that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and the censors took it out. And it would have been 10 times funnier if oh, yeah. they had allowed her to say fuck. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and the other one is Andor in the last episode, the, f- the season finale. That when Marva, so she's got the Andor's mother, stepmother is like, or uh, adopted mother is playing the speech for like everyone, the, the the revolutionaries that are funeral and the hologram. She had a line where she said, she's supposed to say in the script, fuck the empire. And Disney made them took that out. Oh. And that again would have been 10 times better. Yeah, because than- you got this like... Older woman, senior citizen, doesn't seem like it would have it would it would land so much harder. And you've you never know? seen you've never heard that in Star Wars. That would be yeah. a perfect moment for yeah. to, to for that to be the first time. Yeah. And uh it sucks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We need more curses. I'm trying to stay away from gratuitous uh, use of it, but I yeah, I, I have a I have a poopy mouth. Yeah, yeah. I got a poopy do. mouth too. And Sam is always like, "You, will you watch your language." And so I'll get really mad, and I'll just spell it. I'll be like, "Mother f u c k hey, ah." It's hard. Now, I know. now they're just a really good at spelling, Christian. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I know. Then they'll learn to spell it. When I called my nephew, it, uh, it I called my nephew the c word the other day. I was just like, "Oh man, that was a mistake." <laughs> <laughs> it's just hard. It's just hard. <laughs> it's always at the tip of your tongue, Skid. I know. I know. You, it's, like, I, it's, it's like, oh. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. 
<laughs> my sister was pretty uh, pretty upset. Basic. <laughs> 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 Well, uh, I've got some close friends of mine that are uh, probably going to be upset uh, today in our game of Get in the Trunk, which uh, is going to be terrifying and awful. And we'll see. We'll see. Uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how the die roll. In last week's episode, the team decided that they would indeed follow Timothy Bale into the door of Dr. Dallin's office, which seems to lead into a in deeper levels of the hospital that do indeed seem to act a lot like the night floors that they experienced some 20 years previously, where every door could be a portal to anything and where a knowing uh, a path is so valuable tim came along with you as a guide to take you to the place you need to go he mentions the word ritual he also mentions when asked about what was taken from roger's head he calls it the patsu and says that it is uh what you need to get out and roger says where's mine and he's like you you have it we all have it but uh how this all links together, it's very hard to understand a lot of times what Tim is saying, even though he has this way of speaking that is very confident and very straightforward and very like, we just follow me, I know what I'm doing. He dis he takes you into these floors and you begin to see other things within these deeper levels of the hospital that seem to be detached somehow from the main psychiatric hospital that you were in when you came in here at night. Vicky saw Dr. Dallin dressed down, casual clothes, socks, cap. And upon seeing her, he fleed from her, jumping into a dumbwaiter and descending some m number of levels. Vicky lets it go, returns to the group, continues to follow t uh, Tim. At some point, Tim says, you're going to see things down here. You can't be distracted and you cannot open a door without telling me. This is important. Doors have power here. You continue to follow him, but then you hear the screams of a man that you almost instantly know you heard 20 years ago. Michael Whitwer, a Delta Green agent who is somehow also trapped into the orbit of the King in Yellow, as Tim referred to it. He's being pushed slowly on a gurney, completely strapped down along a, a hospital hallway by a man in a robe with a white mask. A man that Tim refers to as Lundin. Even upon seeing his mask, the mask looking directly at Neil, Neil suffered sanity loss just looking at him as he felt the connection Neil to Fran to Lundeen and the death of Fran. It all, bam, hits Neil really hard. You presumed to chase him once he knew you were there <clears throat> through several hallways and unfortunately lost him. Hindsight is twenty twenty, but during that pursuit, Roger had not left yet. He's holding sunshine on his shoulders, who very well could be Lyra Westover. And Roger seems loath to separate from Tim's guidance in this case. He doesn't believe that we should be following everything we see, perhaps. But then Roger makes the decision to break off from Tim, follow everybody, and Tim says, okay, I'll go with you, but it's going to be hard to find our way back. Sunshine on my shoulders <laughs> makes, makes me, me makes me crazy. <laughs> and in so doing, you lose uh, sight of Michael Whitwer. You can't hear Michael Whitwer. You don't see Lundeen. And as Tim begins to try to lead you back to the path, the path shifts and it changes. And you find yourselves in a place that you do not recognize. It's still the hospital, but there are just these large, this this large, um, 
just opening throughout the middle of all these floors that is, you know, several, maybe even a, a hundred feet on a side uh, or, or, or 80 feet on a side, a really big square where on every square there are doors and, and hallways leading all, every which way. It looks like a maze and it looks like it's going to be very difficult to find where you need to go. Tim has lost his confidence. He's frantically opening doors, trying to figure out where to get back on track. He had said something along the lines of, we're close to the stairs. We're almost there now, right when you broke off. But you're trying to help your fellow Delta Green agent. While trying to get back on the path, Roger heard the growling of a dog. But this dog seems like something's wrong with it. It seems partially like a regular dog. But part of it is lost in some sort of shadow or something. And it growls at everyone. And it jumps at you! Just as Roger sees this out and says, Everybody, follow me! Get out of here! And he opens up a door, and we have no idea where that door <laughs> goes. We're not going to know where that door goes, but I do need to know for the purposes of, you know, all things combat oriented, where everyone is in this moment. Um, I'll just let you put yourselves where you would like, uh, even though this is theater of the mind. Roger screams to open a door. As you turn, you see this beast is jumping uh, to, to get to you. And... Um, where is everybody in this instant? Were people right next to Roger? Were people a little further from Roger? To the, to the left of the door? To the right of the door? Uh, Roger, you're opening the door, and I'm going to say you're already in the door, passing through in the first few feet of the door. I'm saying Tim is about two doors down to the right. Camden Yards. Camden Yards. Camden Yards. Camden Yards. Camden Yards. Camden Yards. Tim is a few doors down to the right. Where is Neil? Neil, I think, got staggered by the sudden realization of guilt like I, I i think like i've i've experienced something like this this dream logic where it's like you have a friend who has died and then it's just like in an instant you're like no you killed them and that <laughs> that sudden like revelation that that uh, the epiphany just physically staggered him but after a moment he recovered and was joined the chase so i think at by this point he is up with the rest of them okay and uh he's ready to be to go into the door like when roger opens it okay great what about um vicky i think vicky was very close to roger because they okay. were just talking she was just like you know whispering and talking to them so i think she would be near, nearest the door after roger okay and bobby uh bobby i believe is right or not right behind Tim, but he was like following him. Uh, uh, I, I don't think he was right behind him. He, if if Tim was two doors down, I think Bobby's like right in the middle. He's like one door away from Tim, so he's kind of like in between. Uh, yeah, all the guys and Tim. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> I think we can all at least begin to to picture this in some way, uh, and let's. Let's get this party started. Oh, um, oh God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, um, uh, all right. Trying to set this up appropriately. This dog leaps seemingly unnaturally across this massive gap and almost seems to fly kind of it's so weird it's such a large gap and it was above so it's it's falling but maybe it's gliding or something it's it's it is obviously a very very strange situation and in terms of initiative the dog acted first so it went it leapt and it lands on the level where you guys are and is let's say uh now cutting off Bobby and Tim from Vicky and uh, Neil Jeepers. and Roger. So yes. this thing Bobby's lands, last. and as it lands, Bobby, you are right next to it. It is a gray, large dog that is uh, looks like a mastiff. 
It looks like a mastiff, and it uh, it's it's quite muscular, uh, and it lands and just looks like a dog, <laughs> and then turns its head to you, and one of its eyes and part of its head and then stretching back into its neck and back rather than being like half and half it's just kind of like part of it is a purplish dark color that seems to bend and reflect the light in strange ways <laughs> and it seems to be pulsing and moving it looks like it almost has like this huge tumor or something on it that is changing its makeup and it is uh, seems to be this like purplish volcanic glass these small little shards that are all kind of like twisting and turning in on each other and it turns to you and is uh, color out of space uh, uh. oh my god <laughs> first don't laugh at me first <laughs> all right Vicky now goes last in initiative uh, <laughs> next in initiative is Neil Oh, there is... Oh, man. Uh, Neil is going to mentally prepare himself to deliver emergency medical care for whoever goes next. <laughs> okay, yeah, you can... like, You can wait. That is an action. Yeah, I think I'm just going to wait because, like, there's really... Like, combat-wise, there's nothing I can do. Mm-hmm. We, so, none of us have weapons right now. And we don't Correct. have... Well, Roger, some of Roger us do. does. I got a oh, pipe Roger, and an old oh. lady. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Two-handed. Uh, uh, okay, Neil waits. It is Tim's turn. Tim steps up next to you. Uh, Bobby steps in between, and he looks across at this dog, and it's just like, Abraham? He says, and it, very weird. He's like, Abraham? And he's like, what happened to you? And basically doesn't do anything else. Roger, give me a sanity roll. What? Bobby, give me a sanity roll. Oh, man. Oh, that's a fail. 91 over 63. Oh, no. Oh, shit. 37 over 36? Are you kidding oh, me? No. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. <laughs> that's horrible. You that sucks. Um, Bobby, this is this one's really but this one's really bad, buddy. Uh Fuck. you look across at this thing. What you see <clears throat> in its other eye is so otherworldly that it seems like you could die today, now. And that f fear, or, or if it's not fear, that reality settling into your brain is like a spike in your brain. You take six points of sanity oh, damage. Oh, no. I oh passed my God. breaking no. point. I passed breaking point. Yeah, so please take the six damage and then make a note that you passed your breaking point and then make another note that this is Bobby's last episode. Oh my God. No! <laughs> maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, okay. Uh, oh God. It's looking like it. I'm shitting myself. Um, Roger. <laughs> Poopy butt. Poopy butt. Poopy butt. Poopy butt. Poopy butt indeed. You bust through this door uh. and you see <laughs> not what you're expecting you don't see a hospital you see a long hallway with like um these uh wood paneled walls these deep wood pan deep dark i'm sorry dark wood paneled walls with this like recessed dim yellow lighting and this plush red carpet is, is on the floor and the hallway just extends away from you straight for a while and looks totally clear and like a path to 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 go I failed my sanity check was I supposed to this is because you failed your sanity check this is what see. you see well great you um, probably wanted to fail this one yeah. <laughs> uh all right, so it's plush carpeting and recessed walls, you said? There's no, like plush carpeting, dark wood walls, dim recessed yellow lighting. Recessed. It's just like, so it's like a dim hallway uh, that looks like, I don't know, it looks like a hallway in like a library or like, or what'd you say? 
like a pub, like a, like a nice yeah, pub. Yeah, like a nice pub or like a steakhouse, like an inn or something. You know, like gentleman's it has club. Not a gentleman's <laughs> club. <laughs> yeah. Not yeah. Like in club. fact, in <laughs> fact, you get this uh, a smell uh, comes to your nose as well that's sort of a mixture of just like regular like nicotine smoke and like incense kind of at the same time. Um, can I see Vicky? Vicky's right behind you. You could touch Vicky. He's gonna scoop up Vicky. And you have run. sunshine. I'm gonna run with Vicky and sunshine. So you, and you have a weapon in your other hand still? I've got a pipe here, Vicky and sunshine. It's very unwieldy. Oh my god. <laughs> Vicky, are, Let's do, go. you, do you allow yourself to be picked up? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Swept off your feet, you might say? <laughs> mm. <laughs> Uh, she's trying to get the pipe out of Roger's hand when he picks her up. <laughs> give me, give me, give me. Uh, no, she, yeah, she was ready to like go into the room. So I think she knows that Roger is there and she knows that Roger is trying to protect her. So she goes with it. Okay. Go you get picked up and now you're hanging next to Sunshine. Uh, give me a search roll. Troy, uh, you uh, give me a dex times five roll as you begin running. Okay. Uh, First search. Whoo, baby, 48 under 55. Nice. 48 under 55. Nice. You, this unwieldy, these two women you're carrying <laughs> on your shoulder. This game is preposterous. I only did it because <laughs> it was ridiculous. You begin running down the hallway, and you are like, you look like a transformer that picked up two human beings. <laughs> <laughs> you start running down the hallway, and uh, it is... And, I, yeah, sorry. Oh, I got a 26 under 54 for the search. You think it's possible that Sunshine is dead. You look over at her, and her body is completely limp, and her arms are just hanging down. Bobby, what? you are on the other side of this dog. It is between you and the door that they just fell through. Roger took Vicky and left you for dead. What do you do? Holy shit, where's Tim? Where's Tim? He's Tim is right next to you. And he's like, Abraham? Abraham? And he's just standing there. And the dog is like looking at you. Oh, I, can I take my turn? Yes. All right. Neil is going in. Uh, like he really, it is his near insanity. He thinks that this is the absolute way to go. He's going to come up behind this creature. It's facing away from him and try to kick it as hard as he can between its legs and <laughs> its genitals. Jeepers. Oh, okay, give me awesome. give me an unarmed attack roll. Double O seven. Oh. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> that is preposterous. I am not going just, to just. I am not going to do a dodge roll because there was no uh, visible attack that was coming. The creature did not see this coming. You see couple of big old balls <laughs> right there and you roll a double o seven yeah. go ahead and give me uh, uh, a damage one d3 damage one d3 God. Uh, three whoa wow. you feel like you connect with something that none of this like purplish like reflective stuff is in the junk train there in the back <laughs> so you're just like you, Neil is just like Poopy butt and just like slams this thing, <laughs> slams his foot up Poopy into butt. the into Poopy the butt. <laughs> Poopy butt. And uh, you seem to connect and you hear this like <laughs> this yelp, <laughs> this strange yelp from the creature. Uh, okay, now it is Bobby's turn. Oh Jesus, okay. <clears throat> so now you see Neil behind it. Neil just kicked it. Neil just kicked it in the balls. Is it is it still on its feet? Is it still staring at me? Uh, it's not staring at you. No, okay, it's okay. looking at Neil now. Now it's going to kill right. Neil. You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> I grab, I grab Tim, and I'm Bobby's. Bobby's just frozen sh solid. The, the, he, the first thing he can do is reach out to grab Tim and just to get his bearings. And he looks at Tim. What's what is Tim? Like Tim's active. looking confused at the it's dog. Like Remember, this is just like all happening in I'll instance. Have it in one second. Like um, his turn, he he didn't attack the dog. He he's confused. He says, "Abraham." Bobby grabs Tim, throws him in between himself and the dog. <laughs> <Just goes. laughs> Pure fear. Uh, all right, Pure I'm gonna let fear. it happen. I don't think you need to roll an attack. I don't think he sees that coming at all. I think he's very confused. But you. 
put Tim almost like a human shield between you and the dog, and it is yes. Vicky's turn. Vicky, you are <laughs> on uh, Roger's back. I think, um, which is Vicky- probably faster than just you running. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think Vicky, noticing that uh, Sunshine isn't moving, I think she's trying to like reach over and check Sunshine, like check on Sunshine, like try to grab her head and turn her or like grab her arm. Um, and she is like, Lyra, Lyra, and is trying to grab her while while they're running. Uh, what do you want to do? Uh, you passed a search roll and it looks like she's dead. Is there tra- a- another che- roll like- you want to do or check? Check her pulse, like, like. Okay, yeah. what do you want to roll for that? Um, you want to roll a uh, 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 first have, aid? First aid. Yeah. Nothing. In, I have a ten percent in first aid. Yeah. So while you're running, while you're being carried on Roger's back, it would be reasonably difficult for you to. So yeah, this makes sense. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh! Oh! Damn it! 13. Oh. Oh. 13 oh. over 10, trying to feel the pulse of a 90-year-old woman while you're both being run by Roger <laughs> down a plushly carpeted hallway. <laughs> that brings us to... I yell. I, I also yell. Roger! Ah. Roger, stop! <laughs> Roger, stop! Just, he's just screaming into the hallway. <laughs> okay. You see some of this... Uh, no, I'm not going to say anything. Oop. Round two. <laughs> We're going to catch you up, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Round two. The hound. The hound leaps. Boom. Right at Tim. Oh, who Timmy. Has been interjected suddenly between <laughs> Bobby and the hound. <laughs> oh, oh, it it screams Tim. in pain for a moment. And then it turns and leaps. Sorry, Tim. Forgive me, Tim. Forgive me, Tim. <laughs> Forgive me, Tim. I'll die before I surrender, Tim. Yeah. <laughs> it leaps. It hits Tim, but does not get purchase. It leaps, hits him, falls off of him to the side, and now he's the dog is right next to you, Bobby, but not between you and the doorway. It seems to have tried to jump onto Tim and like pin him and Tim dodged out of the way and it missed. And so like it hit him, it scraped across Tim's clothes a little bit and then it landed next to you and now it's turning around to just like bite at your leg it looks like and it is Tim's turn. Tim is going to roll uh, are you holding him, or did you just like yeah. push him no, in front of you? I'm, I'm holding him. I'm literally human shielding him. She, human shield with him right now. I'm like, what are you doing, man? <laughs> and he's going to roll uh, an escape. He's going to roll an escape to get out of uh, off of your grip. Uh, and so here it comes. Bobby. 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 Bobby! Uh, He goes to escape, dude, and he does not. He actually critically fumbles. Oh. Oh. Uh, So (laughs) I'm not sure, you know, if you do you have an iron grip on him? (laughs) <laughs> he entrenches I mean, himself deeper within your grasp. I've got I've got the the fear and the insanity grip on him. Like I am just he is the only thing that seems real in the world right now and I'm not letting go until either that dog is gone or we're back into some kind of the world that I can recognize. Okay. You're holding on. He's like, "Get off of me. We got to get out of here." And you are holding him back. Next to you is the dog, and it is going to take a bite out of you very oh. quickly if you don't do something about it. And we come back to Roger. Roger, as you're running, you begin to see in the distance a wooden single doorway at the end of the hall. Okay, and there's nothing else in here like a cabinet or a... No, it's just these plain wooden walls with this like recessed lighting. But as you ran, there did start to be like running like past you, like on the side of the walls, you saw uh, some artwork. Like there'd be like a painting. It looks like kind of like old school style. I don't know anything about painting, but some impressionist paintings. I don't know what that means. 
impressed. All there, Roger is thinking and wishing and hoping and praying for is a gun. That is all he's thinking about. Because in his mind, he thinks that if he manifests a gun, a gun will appear. And so he runs up to the door and he puts uh, Vicky down and opens the door. Okay, give me a sanity roll. All right. <laughs> <laughs> That is a success. 32 under... <clears throat> 32 is the number you were looking for under 63. Okay. Yes. You nice. you push open this door and you just see another wall right across from you, but it is a hallway. So you've opened up into a hallway on which this is a side door. As you step through, it goes to the left and it goes to the right. Perhaps Alert. there's a gun to one of these directions. <laughs> <laughs> Use your but gun sense. But you're not sure which. Do you go left? Hold on. I got to write this down. Do you go left or do you go right or do you just stop? Um, Roger just goes left. Roger Vicky, goes left. Pull in Vicky. No. Uh, okay. Vicky's now on the ground. Roger has sort of let her behind. We'll see what happens on Vicky's turn coming up very quickly. And it is Neil's turn. Neil, this dog has jumped away from you. You now look down the hallway and you see Roger and Vicky are pretty significantly far away now down the hall. Okay. He urges Bobby on. He says, on, come! And starts running down <laughs> towards <laughs> Roger. Okay. Uh, are you going full sprint? Yeah. Okay, so give me a dex times five roll. Okay. Well, oh, actually, my dex is not. Oh, yeah. Uh, 30 under 60. Okay, great. So, Neil, you start peeling down this hallway, and uh, yeah, you see the same things that they saw previously. Bobby, you're the only one left. You, Ooh, Tim. Wait a minute. And this nightmare of death. Uh, pardon me, Neil. Uh, oh, I, that's, I'm probably just judging on the way you 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 described this this is probably pointless but i would i would like if i could to use my art skill to identify any of these paintings that i see <laughs> uh yeah go ahead okay uh 47 under 93 Ooh. oh so, yeah art skill you identify the yeah you neil knows better than i do but let's say for the sake of argument that you identify these paintings as um sourced in a mo they're most likely Parisian in their um, origin mm -hmm. and probably 18th to 19th century okay and that that's like the, this thought occurs to you as you're running down the hallway and then it <laughs> yeah. is Bobby's <laughs> turn <laughs> um, Bobby you're holding on to Tim, a clear path to the door, the dog right next to you. Uh, yeah, this is your call. Okay, Bobby just wildly stomps tw on the dog's head. The dog is on the ground, right? Right next to me. No, it's it's no. on its feet, ready it's to pounce. Feet. Oh, Jesus. It's going to bite you in one second. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Bobby grabs Tim, <laughs> uses him as a human shield as well. <laughs> To basically put him in between the dog and okay. himself. Okay. Well, now he's fighting you. So now I need a, a successful uh, <laughs> unarmed attack roll. Give yourself a plus 20% to it since you had already um, succeeded uh, previously and he failed his escape attempt. Okay. Critically and I'm using, am I, am I just using? Unarmed. unarmed. Unarmed is a unarmed. skill. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so right, right, right. Okay. Oh, that's add, not bad. Add 20% to that too. Ooh, ooh. That's, uh, that's 101. Is that right? That's well, right. Your unarmed is 80? Yeah, my it's 81. Oh, wow. I think Because oh. I took that ass beating in the fucking, <laughs> in, the, uh, <laughs> in the place. It's 81. I took an ass beating from, what's his name? Uh, anyway. Uh, let's go, baby. Tim, I hate you. Oh, 64 under, yeah, under 100. Nice. Yeah, it's yeah. under 100. You were just yeah. looking to see if you crit or not. Yeah. But uh, yeah, you succeed in manhandling Tim <laughs> into a spot where he's between you and the dog. Oh, damn it, Tim. And it is Vicky's turn. Vicky, Roger has peeled off to the left down the hallway. Are you following Roger or are you going the correct direction? <laughs> <laughs> um, 
okay. She ye- well, she yells after Neil and Bobby. She's like, come on, come on. Um, keep running to Neil, who she is the only one she can see, presumably. Um, yeah, you can't see Bobby yet. I mean, Bobby's with the <laughs> dog. The fucking Tangling. dog. Tangling um, with this dog. And then she like, she's on the ground. So she like scoots around. She like looks down the hallway um, and she gets back up to her feet. It's like, it's insane. She's barefoot still running in her hospital clothes and she's running after Roger and she goes, Roger, Roger, you have to leave her, Roger. And Vicky's like slowing down. She's like, Roger, I think she's dead, Roger. And she's just in the hallway. She just like stops in the middle of like the two ways. Okay. We're all gonna die. The hound (laughs) leaps once again. Well, no, actually now it's just going to, uh, Attempt to bite. Attempt to bite and succeed. It sinks its teeth into the upper thigh of Timothy Bile, otherwise known as King Bile. Oh my god. And he screams in pain as, Bobby, you just see, witness these these huge teeth go through uh, his pants, through skin, and find a home deep and as he opens his mouth you can see part of his mouth is also this misshapen twisting like shards of glass kind of vibe and it sinks into Tim's thigh uh yeah and he screams <laughs> I thought you were a king I thought you were a king a demon king what the hell <laughs> uh, he is once again going to attempt to escape from you and get out of this situation and I rolled a 95. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Your guide is dying in front of you now. Oh, shit. But at oh. least it's not you, yeah. and it is Roger's turn. Uh, all right, so she just said, we got to leave her. She's dead. So Roger, like, looks at her. Is she dead? Do a do a, a medical roll of some kind. Do, are you, I mean, this is like you, you have one action to God, see in like this instant if she appears action. dead or not. Uh, I, I guess first aid would be the only, yeah, only thing I really can roll. Ah, oh, this seems like such a waste. And I failed it with a sixty-nine. <laughs> she appears to be dead. She's um, completely limp, and in this instant, that was your action, and it is Neil's. I can turn. move though, right? No, you get one action. Oh, fuck. Neil is gonna. He's he's keeps calling back to Bobby. So it's like, on calm, on calm, on calm. <laughs> and he's going to run up. He's going to try to catch up if he can. Yeah. Okay. So give me a uh, dex times five. All right. They have now stopped and uh, are looking to see if something's wrong with sunshine. Uh, 96 over 60. Oh, Neil comes barreling through the doorway and hits his left knee on the frame of the door as he was oh. making the left to catch up with you guys. You just hear bang and then like, uh, uh you me fuck <laughs> me fuck <laughs> uh you Neil uh fall and sprawl onto the ground uh right kind of right by them. And Bobby it's your turn. Tim is howling in pain. You're holding him. And now behind you is you hear Neil on come All right. on come. <laughs> you know what, Tim? It's been real. Toss him the side. <laughs> I'm tossing him, and I'm looking towards uh, Neil and the rest of the gang. Oh my looking god! Looking towards yeah. Neil and the gang with the fear of God in me. <laughs> <laughs> you the start booking dog. down the hallway. Fear of dog. <laughs> Okay, start booking down the hallway. Give me a dex oh. times five roll. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. Come on, baby. Ooh, 13 under 55. Nice. 13 under 55. All oh. right, so Bobby, the don't, 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 He is making up time, <laughs> it seems. Uh, Vicky, your turn. You just um, see. That's Lyra? <laughs> that's Lyra. Uh, Neil has... Caught up mostly. Uh, He's on the ground, like five, ten feet away from you, maybe. Roger's yeah, Vic- yelling, Where's Neil? Vicky Where's run- Neil? I need to know if she's dead. Vicky <laughs> runs over to help Neil up, uh, but she goes, You have to look at her. You have to look at her. And she's like helping Neil to run over towards Lyra. All right. 
who, who, I'm going to give uh, at... Neil, let him move like that as part of your action because you're giving up your life for this health check. So I, I'm going to give you both. What it, What you, are we oh. giving up our life? What are you talking about? Don't, don't let him out game you, Sydney. <laughs> okay. You could get away from the dog of death or we you could We are past the stop. doorway. There was a door Roger went through. We can close the door. <clears throat> but you didn't. And we move to the hound's turn. Oh, shit. <laughs> and no. you hear. These horrifying screams coming from beyond the door. Roger, it's your turn. I need to know if she's alive or if she's dead because it, I have a big decision to make. Here. <laughs> <laughs> you can wait if you wish. So he's going to be like, Neil, I need to know. I need to know. Okay. Neil. Okay, I'm going to do. I'm gonna do a first aid check. Uh, oh, it's a crit success. Oh, yes. Sixty-six under eighty. Yeah. Okay. Thank God. You can tell that she is alive, and that she, she her pulse is extremely low, and she is barely breathing, and that she could die at any minute with the you know at the pace that this is happening. Like she needs medical attention and CPR, like right now, or you'll lose her. Alive she is, weak she is, help she needs, hospital now. Roger, would you like to go or should I move on to Bobby? I mean, I mean. We fucked up, do? we should not have taken her. <laughs> this is a terrible mistake. God. Damn it. I mean, this is horrible. Roger had a, an experience with her. Part of him remembers uh, her disappearing in, in, in like his consciousness. He remembers that. He remembers her son, even though that hasn't happened yet. Like he, there's so, so many memories that are mixed up together in his head. He is so fucking torn here because he also thinks that she might be the only way uh, they can get out is by sacrificing her. But like, I don't see what the alternative is. If we keep running, one of us is going to die. So either it's in his head, he's like either Bobby dies, or he, he or or he enacts this crazy plan with Lyra. <laughs> I mean, it's it's it, and, and that plan might not work. So I don't. And the thing is, like, we and then if we keep running. She could die anyway, so we lose them both. Right. So it's like it is such a horrible situation, and uh, I, like I want to roll to see what Roger would do. Um, <laughs> are there right. doors? There's still doors around there that we have to tr that we can. There are try. still doors. There are still doors. Um, Just will we have the time? Have I'm gonna push forward. I'm gonna push forward. I'm gonna burst through the next door. With her. With her. With her. Yep. Yes. I say, hang on. And you throw her back over your shoulder and you move to the next door and, oh, pardon me, and open it. Now there are two doors. You went left, you move down this hallway a little bit further and almost right away, there's a door to your left and a door to your right. I'm gonna keep going left. And Roger's head is like, if you keep making right turns, you're just gonna go in a circle. So you're just going to keep... <laughs> okay. So if you keep going so left... Go then you have that Roger problem solved. Roger All does not the, think about the, the fact shit. that that's not true both ways. <laughs> okay. Always Roll uh, a sanity check. Uh, 13. 13. Ooh. You open up the door, and you see it's just maybe 10 or 15 feet and uh, till there's another door. But just to the left in this room, there's a little cubby and there's uh, like a little sphere, uh, half moon cubby, and there's like a little plush bench that is in this cubby, and it's directly across from another door. So you opened up this room, and there's a little, uh, uh, little couch thing to the left, little bench, couch, plush bench, couch thing to the left, facing a door right to the right, but then straight across from you, also another door. And we will go to Bobby 
who is booking down the hallway, Bobby. You're seeing paintings. You're hearing horrible screams coming from the other side. What do you do? Bobby is just screaming at the top of his lungs. He's not a king. He's not a demon king. He's not a king. He's getting in. <laughs> Full sprint. Uh, does he yeah. see? Does he see anybody? I might yeah, just. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. No, He's, you don't see anybody. But you hear. You see an open door in front of you, and okay. you hear Vicky and, and Neil yelling for you. He just books it through that open door. Screaming, he's not a king! He's not a demon king! <laughs> oh. Okay, God. and then right outside that door uh, is Vicky. Uh, but Roger has now taken off into another door. Uh, Vicky, you're standing there where Bobby just ran through. And now you're there. What, what do you do? Vicky slams the door shut. Is there a lock on this door? Um, No, there's no lock there's on no the knob. It's just a just golden, checking. like, chrome, golden brass doorknob. Brass. And you... Shkoom, Close that door, and and I say, and all of a sudden it gets like a little quieter. Hmm. You don't hear screams. You just hear Bobby's heavy breathing. He's not a king, and it is Neil's turn. He's not a king. He's not a king. Uh, yeah, he sits so he can see Bobby now. Yes, so, Bobby, you, and uh, Vicky are all right together, and uh, Roger's just a little bit ahead of you. Okay, so he's, again, like going to urge the other two. He's just like, on come. Still a chance, old woman, to save. Me follow, me follow, Roger follow. He's, he starts running after Roger. Okay. Um, I think you guys are good now. You can kind of... Uh, catch up to Roger and we'll we'll come out of combat for the moment. Roger, you're standing in this small room across from this little couch. There are two doors, one directly across from the couch and one to the left of the couch or straight across from you as you came into the room. First, uh, we'll call it uh, the, the the right door and the and the straight door. Which one do you want to do? Uh, I want to lay Lyra down on the plush couch. Okay. Gently. Or just throws her. No. He like, <laughs> she hits the couch. You Sad hear at potato. least two ribs snap. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> no, he like gently places her down on the couch. He's like, help is coming. Stay with me. Stay with me. And, and yeah, then, she's uh, just uh, completely unconscious. Neil! Neil! She's on the couch! And then uh, he's going to just open the straight door. The door that's straight across from the couch. Roll a sanity check. 63 on top of 63. Ooh. Wow, and oh. you rolled it exactly? Ooh, wow. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I don't think I've ever rolled it on top of yeah. I don't know what you would say. <laughs> Who gets the tie goes to the runner? Yeah. Tie goes to the runner. <laughs> nice. Yes. Uh, you open up this door that's directly across from here, and you see what looks like a restroom. You open it up, and you see... Like these, uh, like a floor made of like small little tiles and white, you know, small tiles, and then just like stalls and sinks and a mirror and like lights on either side of the mirror. And it just looks like a, a, a bathroom. And um, Lyra is, is laying there on the couch, and we're going to come uh, back around to Neil in a second, but let's take a quick break and, uh, and see yeah. what happens next. Or, if anybody has to go to the bathroom. <laughs> we'll see you in a minute.
brings out his holy sword, places his heel upon the neck of the serpent. For now, the hour is struck, the trumpet has been sounded, the dead shall walk again. The serpent comes, but upon all of them he shall place the mark of the beast. Let's come back in on Neil coming up to Lyra Westover or Sunshine, who is in her 90s. And uh, this experience that has not lasted very long uh, has seemed to take a toll on her system. Uh, She is barely breathing and her pulse is very low. Neil, talk to me. I'm going to perform... Uh, a risky invasive surgery on her right now. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I'm going to uh, only I'm using do... blunt instruments. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's going to go hand in the chest. Lead pipe? <laughs> yeah, give me that lead pipe. That's so crack oh, open. <laughs> uh, I'm going to do a medicine check. Uh, medicine or first aid, like whichever is better to try to stabilize her. Like anything I can do. Do for whichever her. one is better for your skill. Whichever one you have Actually, higher. Equals, so. uh, another crit success. 22 <laughs> under 80. Yes. Whoa. Wow. Okay. So you take some time in this room and you uh, feel like she begins to stabilize. Her breathing becomes a little bit more regular and her pulse becomes a little bit more regular. But you, in your professional medical opinion, uh, a continuing, continuing on like she was, you know, could obviously kill her. Um, but she is stable right now. She needs further medical attention to, you know, become conscious again. Hmm. Moving her this way, me think she die could. She need. Attention, major hospital. Me think. Well, <clears throat> Neil, you always said that the only way out is through, right? Hmm. Well, we can't go back. And we already brought her this far, and maybe that was a mistake. God, I don't know. Bobby? I hear she would for certain. Well, we leave if. We don't even know where we're going now. What happened to Tim? He's, he's, not, he's not a king. He's not a demon king. He's not. He. And it's all. He, he's. He's. He's no king. He's no king. Yeah, Bobby, I know he's not a he, fucking king. He, dog. Okay, okay, let's... Neil, can you carry her? Me try, and I'm... Yeah, I'll try, I'll try to carry her. I'm a 70-year-old man, but I'll, carry, I'll try to carry her. <laughs> well, Roger left. <laughs> no, Roger's standing right there. Oh, I thought he went into the bathroom. In, no, he I'm just the opened ba- the door, and oh. there's a bathroom. He didn't... I didn't... You didn't say you went in yet, so. No, I do want to go in. Yeah. Bobby's- oh, by the way, uh, before th- we have seen a dog before. There was a dog mentioned in the play. Yes, in the and, apartment. But, was that a dog? Oh, yeah, Tim said, first. Uh, Tim said Arthur. Did he say no, Arthur? A- no, Abraham. 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 And you guys heard a barking dog multiple times in the night floors. Yeah. Right. Okay. Right. Abraham doesn't sound familiar. That doesn't sound familiar. No, no but also it no. feels biblical, demonic, like yeah, presidential. Yeah. <laughs> yes, good. You are. The that's why. Best. That's why uh, Roger really <laughs> wanted the gun. presidential name. Yeah. <laughs> is that Abraham Lincoln, <laughs> sir? <laughs> sir, oh, Mr. You Lincoln, well. Still you, don't, you don't look right. You look like a shadow demon mastiff. <laughs> like a weird dog, Mr. Okay? President. Uh. Okay, Roger, can you help lift it? We have to just keep going. And Roger says, hold on. And he walks into the bathroom. And first thing he wants to do is look down under the stalls to see if there's any feet. 
And just letting you know if there are, I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you look you look under the stalls and you you don't see any feet. I can't put feet there if you're not going to play anymore. I uh, know you don't see any feet. It's like the shining. Kind of feel like the, I got bullied into that one. <laughs> the shower scene in The Shining, like nothing yeah, is more terrifying uh, yeah. than when he finally goes in the room. Uh, and then the second thing I want to do is just walk up to the mirror and look in it and make sure I see myself. You look in the mirror and you do see yourself. Yes. And he he takes his glasses off and he looks. <laughs> That's right. He had sunglasses. This uh, <laughs> he looks at his like at his eye is it all fucking bruised like the king's it's totally clear no bruising no swelling no trauma to the area I'm still beautiful (laughs) he uh he turns and he walks back out and he looks at Vicky does Vicky have the bruising that she had before no, she looks up at you. Roger, what are we gonna do? Whatever you just said, I don't remember, but something along those lines, and and you don't see any, you don't see any bruising. He's like, all right, all right. I think we're, I think we're close, and now we're on our own. We will succeed where Widmer failed. Whitwer. <laughs> Whit- <laughs> Whit- Whit- we just saw him. We literally Roger's just saw him. Roger's thing is he always him. mispronounces his name. <laughs> Whit- Whit- Whitmer, if you can hear me. <laughs> Woodward, we will Woodward. succeed where you failed. <laughs> What's in here? And he opens the door to the right. <laughs> Give me a sanity check. That was the uh, other door that was in this room. Uh, the couch. Uh, that is a four under 63. Oh, damn, Whoa, holy cold. crap. Archer is just like, he's starting to feel like if he's healed now, we're leaving that dream world behind. What they think is the real world to return to our dream world, which is our real world. You open that door. (laughs) You open that door. You just see about five feet of mesh carpet, same walls. You see two sconces coming out of this one that are providing like a dim yellow light, uh, uh, it still looks electric. They're not. They're not like <laughs> torches. And uh, goes about five feet, and then it descends in a staircase going down. Ready to go down. Okay, I'm ready. Wait, I just want to look in the bathroom real quick. I also look in the bathroom, and then Vicky closes the door and uses the bathroom because our characters <laughs> haven't gone to the bathroom, I think, maybe this entire campaign. That's a good call. That's weird and, and true. Sticking Bobby, to the real to the Bobby realism. Shit his pants at least three times. <laughs> <laughs> poopy butt. Poopy butt. Poopy butt poopy Bobby. Butt. Poopy butt Bobby. That's his nickname at the CIA. <laughs> We've <laughs> orgasmed, but we haven't peed. Yeah, we spent Crazy. Lots of- <laughs> you're supposed to, you're supposed to pee <laughs> after you do that because it's bad if you don't. So <laughs> That's true. Yeah, Vicky gonna- goes to the bathroom. <laughs> All right. Does anything Vicky. happen? <laughs> uh, a rainbow you tell comes me. out. I don't, I'm not going in there. There's but I'm just saying, you look down business. at the king in yellow crawling out. <laughs> oh. After the Vicky king goes, in yellow grabs your poopy butt. <laughs> 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 My poopy butt. <laughs> After uh, Vicky pees, there's no other doors in this bathroom, right? Like, I so she at, doesn't poop. She just pees. No, she doesn't poop. She doesn't have to. Okay. I thought about it. She doesn't have to. I'm playing it real to the chest. She does not have to poop. She hasn't eaten either. She hasn't eaten in a long time. <laughs> right. Yeah. So is there any other doors in the bathroom? No, just the no. doors to each stall. And they're kind of like half doors partially open. So you're, uh, you're not half doors. That's not what I meant. They're just, um, they're not sealed doors. So, yeah. Okay. Check them. Yeah. I mean, she opens all of them before she uses the bathroom. Boom, boom, boom. Slowly go to each one, push it open. Now remember, there were no feet underneath. Yeah. Just somebody go standing on to the next toilet. <laughs> <laughs> the light starts to flicker no. in the bathroom as you get to the last one. It's like, zzz, zzz, zzz. Is the door closed? Are you in here alone, or yeah. do you did you keep the door? 
No, I closed yeah. the door. She closed the door. Oh. She said she closed the door because she was taking a big dump. <laughs> <laughs> the lady needs her privacy after all. This episode has gone off the rails because I made my fucking name Poopy Butt in the stupid recording software. <laughs> Get my. <laughs> <laughs> you brought this on yourself because you were nervous about your fictional character friends smelling your dump. You closed a door and perhaps killed your character. No, I didn't. No, I didn't, Joe. Go ahead and uh, do you want to? So you push open this last stall. Just as the door gets open. The lights go out. <gasps> you don't hear anything. She backs up. Yet. She back. She backs up immediately towards the door she came in through. You hear? <sighs> Give me a search roll to find oh, that doorknob. I'm, like, I'm like unplugging my headphones because I got so scared. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Skid left. Skid left. <laughs> Skid just straight up left. He walked away. We can like, still nope. see him. He's like, like he I'm went sweating. literally sat in another room. We can see him. <laughs> <laughs> nope. 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 I'm so scared. I'm. <laughs> I don't want to. What? What am I doing? Searching for the door. You're rolling a search roll uh, blind for the door. So you're just rolling <gasps> to try to find cry. the doorknob. It's probably minus 20%. Wait, shut up, Troy. It's not minus <laughs> 20%. <laughs> it's dark. I'm, just, I'm okay. not giving you the penalty because you know exactly where the door is. And you know where <laughs> most doorknobs are relative to doors. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Must, must stink in there. Oh, fuck. <laughs> God damn it. 58 over 54. Oh, no. So you're, you're touching the wall, and there, there, you know there is a doorknob there. You know there is. Oh, I know that and feeling. I know that feeling. You're just <laughs> no, not. You're like, no. You're just not feeling it, and you feel a no. certainty that someone is in this bathroom. No. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> God fucking. Um, okay. God. 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 Vicky. <laughs> Vicky's like, ah, oh, it's that feeling in the dark, like, like just hitting a wall. Like the doorknob is for sure five feet to her right, and she is just in such a panic. Like, it could be two inches to your right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and she, panic. she just says, "Don't come any closer. I am a federal fucking agent. I will take you down." And she is so panicked. She is so, she is sweating out of her eyeballs. She is so panicked. Can I roll again to find the door? <laughs> I think we heard that. You can roll again to find the door. Yeah, do they hear me? I'm yelling. Yeah, can we? What, what's happening? They don't hear a thing. Oh, fuck. Oh, man. Roll with a plus 20% because you have obviously eliminated some parts of the wall uh, for consideration. <sighs> 11 under what would be 70, 74. Crit. You hear. And it seems to increase, and your fingers hit a doorknob. I yank that shit. <laughs> you twist that shit and yank that shit. Give me a sanity roll. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. My God, she might not come back into the hallway. She might go someplace else. Oh, yeah. Five under 55. Wow. <clears throat> you push open the door fall back and there is no sunshine there is no small room or small couch there is right outside this bathroom a small hallway and a stair going up oh shit <laughs> this is why you no. shit your pants this is why you just shit your yeah, pants you don't ever why. go to the bathroom <laughs> shit your pants oh my god she's lost Roger's the door Vicky Vicky, thought you were just going number one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. I'm you gonna legitimately you get cry. <laughs> Vic, oh, I'm getting 
chills down my spine. Oh my god. Uh, you seem, you open the door and your friends are gone. Roll a sanity check. You seem to have suddenly been split off from them and are alone. 59 over 55. Ugh. You take one point of sanity damage oh, as this god. realization occurs to you. How does this loss of sanity um, manifest? I think she gets like, I think she's just shake, so shaken from the light going out. It's like coming down from adrenaline and she legitimately, like her teeth are chattering. Like she can't stop shaking. Her whole body is shaking. She's in complete shock. Yeah. And she feels- pure defense mode. Alone, so alone. And there's stairs going up. Well, she's getting away from this door, so she's going to go up those stairs if it's the only way. Okay. Is, there's nowhere else to go, right? That's right. So, yeah, you head up the stairs, and it's it's a short flight to a landing and then another flight up, and you feel like you're on another level now. You've walked up to another level, and you start to see uh, artwork again on the wall, uh, and they're just paintings uh, European style paintings uh, and you make it to uh, another doorway at the end of the hallway. Uh, the paintings look familiar though, right? Fr from like the other ones? Does the like does the hallway look familiar? Is it like the carpet and the paintings? Um, yes, 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 yes. You're okay. still yeah in this place. Whatever okay. this place is that seems different from the hospital, go ahead and yeah. uh, roll a sanity check. She's calming down a little bit because at least this is somewhat familiar and that reflects 37 under 54 okay you open up that door and you see a the um uh it's just so it's a wooden door with a brass handle but when you open it up it opens up into what looks like a like a surgical like a like surgery like a surgery room in a modern hospital so you open this door and look through, and on the other side is a room with a, a large bed and uh, arm, uh, like, uh, you know, those arm things that uh, can uh, be spread out from the bed, along with some big lighting, uh, uh, lots of, like, tools and materials all around, and you feel this cold breeze blow in at you. And on the far side is a, is a hospital door, and it looks like like you opened up this door and it looks like it's leaving wherever you were and are returning to the hospital. No, 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 no. She goes back through the door. She's not going back to the hospital. <laughs> okay. You go come back and close the door and all that it, there is is a hallway and stairs going down. Fuck. She runs back down the stairs. She's going to open up that bathroom door again. And her logic is, if it worked in the night floors, it'll work here. She just has to imagine that this door will lead back to the couch room that she already seen. She'd seen that room. So she's like picturing that room. And she's like, if I just think of it and I open the door and I'll go back through it. So that's what she's doing. She's manifesting. <laughs> okay. If that open. worked, you'd be in Camden Yards right now. I know. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> and Roger would have a gun. Go ahead and give me a hot dog the other. <laughs> sanity. Go ahead and give me a sanity check. Ooh, three under nice. 54. Yeah. Nice. She's a rock. You open up the bathroom door and you don't see a bathroom. You open up the door and you see a long hallway and a door at the far end of it. But between you and the door on the far end, you see a man. Oh no. He's youngish, slim, buzzed haircut, and he is slowly limping along the hallway <laughs> toward you. As you open the door, you recognize Tim Bile. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, and he's man. like, Vicky, Vicky, 
Help! And he starts walking toward you. What happened? The dog! Abraham, he bit me! He bit me! Where is, where's the dog? Damn it, that's what I'm not supposed to do. <laughs> See, I Fuck. get so in the zone. Yeah, you gotta Fuck. do it. You gotta do it. <laughs> I, I threw it. I threw it over. I threw it off the balcony. The balcony. Where are they? Where is everyone? I lost them. I lost them. Oh, shit. Let me guess. You opened another door. That's all there fucking is around here, Tim. There's all fucking doors. What do you mean? Open a fucking door. <laughs> Amazing. She's just absolutely like shaking, like her whole body. All right, all right. Stay still. Relax. Calm down. We'll find it. We're in. We're getting close. We're in the right spot. I don't know who found it, but somebody, somebody found it. What do you mean somebody found it? Whoever opened the door, they found it. I, I don't heard know somebody, who opened the door. I heard somebody in the room that I was in. I was in a room and I got stuck in the room and I heard somebody in there. What room? Bathroom. His eyes widen. Show me where the bathroom door was. It was in here. I came through it, but I, it's not the bathroom anymore. It was this. You can't go anywhere without me. You have to follow me or every door you open will lead you further away. And he starts walking past you through the door that you just opened. I don't understand. I don't understand. Why, why is the bathroom I'm not bad? talking anymore to you about it. Follow me. And he comes past you through the door, limping along, holding his leg, and you can see some of this blood kind of like coming through his finger. And he uh, comes through and goes to turn up the hallway and you see there's no stairwell there where there just was a second ago. And you look and, and he starts walking into the darkness ahead. I follow and him. Come, and we come back to Roger, Neil, Bobby, and Sunshine. Roger's knocking. Vicky! Vicky! Yeah. Yeah. Now, now he's concerned, so he opens the door. Vicky! You open the door despite her request for privacy. <laughs> we were married. We were married. married. We're married. <laughs> we're married. Right. Nothing he uh, hasn't seen before. Right. There you go. <laughs> we used to just leave the door open. <laughs> Roll um, sanity check. No. Uh, Sixty under sixty-three. Nice. You open up the door, and there is no bathroom. It's just what? a hall. That just heads away from you. Roger and slams the door and just starts kicking the fucking shit out of it so it breaks off its hinges. Okay. Wow. Bah! Bah! Like a bout of it. Wait, where's Sunshine? Bah! 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 She's across from so me. So she's still on the couch. Laying on the couch, yeah. Bah! Or Neil had this, like trying to carry her. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, that was ridiculous, <laughs> right? Neil's not carrying sunshine. <laughs> no. Uh, Roger st rips, <laughs> literally rips the door off his hin off its hinges, throws it into the hallway, and there it is, just like sitting there, hinges all twisted and broken, holes in the wall where it ripped the mounting screws out. Vicky is gone. Vicky! Vicky! <laughs> To your left, okay. stairs descend through an open door, stairs head down. He pulls out the watch. Hmm. Is it changed at all? No. When he moves and turns, it's not a compass. <laughs> no, it's a watch. <laughs> <laughs> he goes over like, to Westover, he goes, what is this? What does this thing do? Where's Vicky? She's unconscious. Let's go downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Sits from stands for a moment over Sunshine, gathering himself, and says, Let's go downstairs. Do you lift up Sunshine again? He does, but he's got a disgusted look on his face. Bobby, are you heading down the stairs? He's just 
yeah, yeah. Bobby's Bobby's following wherever these guys are going right now. Bobby, you start to head down the stairs and you hit a landing. Then it turns and another flight goes down. You see a door on the second landing and more stairs going down. At this point, Neil comes up behind you and then Roger and uh, Sunshine. Do you continue down the stairs or do you open the door on this landing? Bobby's making this decision. <laughs> yes. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Um, I mean... Francis. Open it. Open it. Bobby's We're all counting on you. Bobby's going to open it. He's going to open it. He's not going to step through. He's going to Stay open together, it. Bobby. Stay together. We're just going to we're just going to open it. Maybe Maybelline's on the other side. Give me a sanity roll. Oh shit. Oh god. I'm at 30 right now. Ooh, 20. Oh no, 72. Shit. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I was like 20. I hate when that god. happens. That's the worst. 72. You stop at the landing. You get a feeling. You open up the door, click, and standing and walking right towards you are Tim Bile and Vicky. Oh. He's limping towards you. You open up the door, and he's like, Bobby. And he hey. steps to the side, and you can see <laughs> Vicky right past him. Hey, we found him. That was easy. And he continues to limp toward you, Bobby. Bobby backs away. <laughs> Bobby's backing away. <laughs> Not a king. Not a king. <laughs> you get caught on the first step going down as you like, no, not a king, not a king, backing away, roll a dex times five. Oh, oh shit. my God. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking fall to my death right now. Don't shut the door. Oh God, 63? Oh, wait a minute. What's your dex time? Your dex time is year 55. Fuck. Bobby falls Fuck. down the stairs. He oh. slips back. Oh. Oh. You lose your footing and you start to do, 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 tumble down the stairs. Uh, in that same moment, uh, and in so doing, ugh, you take two points of damage. Mm. Two more points of damage as your head slams the wood wall at the landing at the bottom. Roger, you look through the door and you see Tim is limping up and Vicky's right behind him. He's like, Vicky, stay with us. It changed, it changed, Roger, it changed, it changed, and I was stuck in the bathroom. I know, I know. Come the on, lights come went on. out, and there was somebody in there with me, and there was somebody Just, breathing. We're here now. Come here, come on. I can't, I can't, I can't. And she like is like pushing Roger away, and she goes, I just can't. Come on, like, he's not. just kind of, he's got Lyra, it's all unwielding. He's trying to like calm her down. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot going on. It's, yeah, it's, like, it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> he's kind of pulling her in while he's holding Lyra. And Vicky, your face and he just pushes into Lyra's butt. <laughs> he looks at Tim like, and he's like, get us the fuck out of here. Yeah, yeah. Follow me. That's what I told you the first time. This is why we don't take detours. And he starts limping down the steps. Bobby, are you all right? I I, uh, 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 <laughs> stand up, stand up. <laughs> just follow me. We're close now. We're close now. Bobby's just staring, keeping an eye on Tim, just like waiting for him to freak out or do some weird shit. Like he's frightened out of his mind. He continues to walk down the stairs, and he, um. He gets to uh, a landing and more stairs go down and there's a door there. He stops at that door, opens it up and the hallway continues. He walks into that hallway. Give me a uh, party order here. I'll stand right in it behind a uh, bail. Still have my lead pipe. Okay, so <clears throat> bail, then Roger and um, Sunshine, then I'd like to stay behind Roger and Sunshine so Neil can just keep a close. By the way, I think like using his medical knowledge, like sort of rubber banded him a little bit back into regular reality, just like using his skills that way. Mm -hmm. 
but uh, but yeah, he wants to stay close to Lyra just uh, to keep an eye on her. Okay. I think guys, uh, yeah, Vicky's Vicky's behind Neil. Vicky is just wants to be squished <clears throat> between Bobby and Neil, not be at the back of the group. And yeah, yeah she's yeah. Yeah, Bobby's okay. Bobby's the back, just trying to stay away from Tim. This, he's waiting for Tim to do. <laughs> yeah, Bobby's <laughs> holding his head. It We're hurts. cool, right? Oh. This is your second. <laughs> this is your second concussion in, in as many hours. Oh my god! Yeah, <laughs> massive head trauma. Oh. Yeah, seriously, you probably feel a little bit dizzy and like a little nauseous, and, and that's you when better lie down and go right to sleep. <laughs> that's my medical advice. I heard that's a myth. I heard you can sleep; it's fine. Uh, I'll be good. I'll be good. Concussions are a myth, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> that's when the light starts to change for you, Bobby. No. Maybe it's a concussion but the lighting starts to get a little bit brighter in the room and you start to see these like shafts of light coming from up ahead that are kind of oddly bright. And as you're looking past your friends, they seem to be coming from Tim. It's like these lights coming off of him and you start to see a halo forming around his head like a crown of light and then it starts to shape itself into an actual crown and the light begins to fade from the object itself yet it's still emanating some degree of light Neil you start to see the same thing As he opened this door and moved into this hallway, you start to see light emanating off of bile, and you start to see this crown on his head, and you recognize it. It It looks looks like the mine identical to your crown. And he is just limping and walking along the hallway. Roger, you're right behind him. You don't see anything different. Turns around. What's wrong, <laughs> Bobby? He's <laughs> <laughs> not a king. He's a king. He's not a king. Wait, he's a king, I guess. <laughs> oh, wait, I was wrong. It's so right. Wait, I was wrong. It's so right. <laughs> he is a king, watching. but dogs can hurt him. <laughs> is, um, is he faking the limp? I guess that would be, I don't know if alertness, I, I kind of lean on alertness. Um, oh, it's not human. I don't think he's human. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> it wouldn't work. I don't think it would work. I don't know what this would be to, you know, first aid isn't quite right, medicine, call, persuade, pilot. Mm. Disguise? No, that's the other way. Um, I'll, I'll roll alertness. You tell me if I get anything from it. I'm just trying to. I'm, I'm just trying to suss this guy out. Roger's sole focus is on Tim because he feels like a time's gonna come when he's gonna turn on us. Um, so I'm like, I saw that dog. That I, it didn't look like any any of us. That's why I ran. Yeah, that's why uh, Bobby threw him in there. <laughs> yeah. Just butchered. I actually failed my alertness roll. A oh, 97 no. over 82. Oh, oh shit. Oh shit. Everybody continues moving forward, led by some limping king (laughs) down this long hallway of plush red carpet and recessed dim lighting artwork adorning the walls, a a smell of smoke and incense in the air. And he comes past this one door to his right and he stops Bile stops and he looks at it and he shakes his head and he walks to the next, not too far down. And then he shakes his head and he walks to the next. And it's when I, sorry, when I say not too far, I mean only like 10 or 10 feet away. Like these are really like close together, close set doors. And he comes by this one door and then he stops and he leans close and he just stops. Everybody kind of has time to move up toward him. 
and suddenly you hear the sound of a gong come from the other side of the door. I can't make a good gong sound, but gong. And then you hear a smattering of applause through (laughs) this doorway. And he just looks at you and smiles. There we go. He turns this brass doorknob, opens it up, and you walk through, or he walks through, and you can't see anything. It's completely dark. And there's just like a black, heavy curtain that's hanging in front of the doorway just a few feet in. And he walks up, and he parts this curtain and then passes through and holds it up for Roger to be able to pass through as well. And as you step up, Roger, sunshine on your shoulder, perhaps dying. You look past and you see him just walk into what looks like a small black box theater. (laughs) Seats. Uh, rows of seats to the left and to the right and down he walks down the center aisle extremely dimly lit so that you can see no one really clearly in the room and at the front of it all at the front of about 25 rows is a stage and a curtain that has a very dim spotlight on it (laughs) my god (laughs) We can't no. watch the play. <laughs> <laughs> he holds up the curtain for you and begins to walk through. I fucking hate I knew it. Are there people <laughs> sitting in the audience? You see like silhouettes of people sitting yeah. in the audience. Mm-mm. Yeah. Mm-mm. <laughs> Don't look at them. Mm-mm. They're mannequins. He, he turns around and he's like, up here, we'll go up this way. Follow me. And he whispers to you. And it is it's quiet in the theater. Roger looks back. Okay. Roger, you you walk through and he begins to walk down this center aisle. And uh, he walks all the way to the front. And he looks back over his shoulder to make sure that everybody is following past Roger. Is everybody walking in? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Vicky right behind Roger Neil right behind Vicky Bobby bringing up the rear Bobby do you close the door behind you as you walk in don't look at Sydney on the screen do not look at Sydney <laughs> Bobby's, Bobby's do not wait for the translation head. answer the question <laughs> All right. yes Bobby Bobby shuts the door behind me. where are you Bobby chooses to close the door yep. and you all walk in (laughs) into the front row of this theater it seems as if whatever's happening here has not yet truly started he slips into the front row and goes in six seats sits down and then looks back toward all of you and motions for you to sit down next to him take your seats he whispers Tim, we're not going to do this. We need to get out of here. No, no, no. This is it. This is the way out. What's going to happen here? It's just a little show. Just relax. Watch the show. And then we'll do the thing and you will get out. You have to see the show first. It's the only way out. What is the show? Just keep your voice down. It's rude. Sit down. (laughs) Neil's going to take a seat. Neil sits down two yeah. seats away from Tim. There's an open se- or three seats away from Tim. There are two seats, theoretically, one for Roger, one for Sunshine. Oh, no. Then there's Vicky. So multiple seats. I, uh... You can sit <laughs> next to Tim or you can put Sunshine next to Tim or you can just walk out. Uh, I will sit next to, I'm going to leave an empty space next to Tim and put, <laughs> then I'll sit in the next seat and I'll limp sunshine into the seat next to me <laughs> yeah, <that's> like, <laughs> just 
drop her sack of potatoes. Can Fiki, as she's walking down this aisle to get into this row, can she look and see if these are mannequins sitting in the audience? Don't look. Don't look. Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> what, Don't what do you- look. Mr. Closes the door. <laughs> Don't tell me what to do. Hey, there could be a dog back there. there Mr. Could be a closes dog the door. Uh, what do you want me to roll? Search or alertness? No roll necessary. Uh, dear God. It's pretty clear as you walk down. Do you see a smattering of people? all covered in shadow, hard to distinguish one from the other. But then you recognize a face. It's someone you know. It's someone that's very close to you that died. Who is it? I think it's Vicky's mom. With the shadow cast across half of her face, not looking at you, but just looking at the stage in mute anticipation, you see your dead mother. Oh my God. Roll a sanity check. (laughs) What the fuck? (laughs) Joe. (laughs) 26. Nobody else looked. 26 under 54. You take two points of sanity damage. Oh. Oh. Even, with the, even with the 26 under On a success, you wow. take two points of sanity wow, damage. Wow, that's a bad one. What that if I... You are what dead if, mother. What if I... Waiting to watch whatever this show is. What if I just hit my breaking point but didn't go below it? That is your breaking point. Okay, I just so you, hit. All right, so note that you hit your breaking point. Make a note. And then reset your breaking point. Your current San minus your pow? Pow. Yeah, right. Or will pow? Or minus my pow? Pow. Will power. Yeah. Pow. 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 Okay. Minus your willpower, I believe. Uh, or, I can't remember. Anyway. Wow. Yeah. You. What do you do? Like, you see your mother, then, then what? What's the next instant? God. You lose just- two points of sanity. Everybody else is kind of calmly, Neil has taken his seat. You're up near the front row now looking back and she is just not looking at you. She's just staring at the stage. I think- Everything else is in shadows. All the other people, your peripheral vision, you can't see anyone clearly. I think she just like, it's like an involuntary and she just yells very loudly. And I think she just yells, no, no, no. No, 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 no. Roger, Roger stands down. No, 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 no. And she's like getting up out of her seat. Roger, would you help her? No, 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 no. What? Roger goes up there. What? What? What's the matter? No, no, you can't make me. You can't make me. I won't. I won't. I won't do it. I won't do it. And she gets up. What? I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm not going to do it. I'm not doing this. Last time you left, we almost lost you. And she looks at Tim. I'm leaving. What are you going to do? You can Vicky. leave. If you leave, you'll be lost here forever. I thought you wanted out. This is how you get out. Now sit down. It won't start until you sit down. Shh. She, she's gonna reach for Tim. And I'm gonna try to scratch him on the face. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, totally, totally valid reaction. She reaches she's for him. And she, she's just gonna try to claw at his face <laughs> over the seats. Like Roger, she, are you gonna stop this? <laughs> Roger's like, like holding her back, but she, I wasn't expecting her to do that. So I think she probably, I think she probably gets through. She gets a lick in. Yeah. She gets a lick in. I want one lick in. <laughs> so funny. It's like Michael hey, says, if like, you oh. don't step in here, right, go ahead and roll, roll, roll unarmed. To. Yeah, I will. <laughs> yeah, that's a three under fifty. I'm gonna scratch the shit out of Tim's face. Fuck you, Tim. You actually fail uh, because he beat you with his dodge. So you thump, oh. and he he dodges out of the way, and is like, "You're so close. Why now? Sit down. You're almost out." She 
picks herself back up. She's like leaning on Neil and Bobby. <laughs> I'm gonna, I, oh, I, oh. And she looks at Roger and she goes, what are we doing? What are we doing? We're going to sit. You're going to sit for this. You're going to watch this. What are you doing, Bobby? What are you doing, Neil? Uh, Neil, Shh. Neil, yeah, Neil turns to her and just like you see him in the dark, it's just like, shh. Oh, that is so creepy and amazing. <laughs> Roger's Vicky. just like, I got you. Sit down. I what is Bobby you. doing? Bobby's still holding his head. He's staring at the at the stage, just God, blankly, and he slowly sits down. Okay, Vicky sits down. She puts her head into her shirt like this. <laughs> <laughs> and she's leaning over with her head in her shirt, and she's just, like, rocking back and forth, just, like, does not want to be here, cannot deal with this. Okay. Roger just leans over to her and, like, says, listen, I don't... I don't like this any more than you do, but I don't know what else to do. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. She's just like no, whispering under her breath. No, we won't. <sighs> and as Roger says, no, we won't, everything gets really quiet in the theater. Everyone waiting in anticipation. Tim finally has you seated. You, you put your face in your hand, or your face in your shirt. Roger's calming words. Bobby holding his multiple concussions, <laughs> looking at the looking at the stage. And Neil, what is the look on Neil's face in this moment? Skid. What, what, uh, yeah, what is Neil like looking like in this moment? I think. But what's he's, he thinking? I guess we should just say. Hmm. I think he's still kind of given over to all this he's got one foot in both worlds and i think just as as an artist himself he wants to see the show mm. he he's like he's ready for this like whatever this is yeah he you know just wants to see it and i also think for neil with your high art i think that walking into this room and sitting in this chair is so familiar. You've done this kind of thing a million times. And now you realize how distracted you were by trying to attend to sunshine and trying to escape whatever that creature was mm -hmm. that you hadn't thought previously that everything from the time you walked into this wood paneled room with the red floors has looked like a theater. It's It has oh, seemed wow. like, you know, the inside of some old school theater. You like know? an old like movie palace or something. Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah. yeah, and that's the thing. Like this is the purest, most distilled form of what has attracted to Neil to all of this in the first place, which is like, what can it do for his own art? Mm -hmm. And like now we're I'm, we're about to see an actual show here. So yeah, I think he's almost like enraptured right now. <laughs> And any remaining house lights go down. There is a faded yellow spotlight on the stage that's very barely, very dimly lighting it. And we start to hear music as if there was like an orchestra pit there, but you didn't see any musicians certainly, but just the same emanating from the stage, you hear this sound of music, perhaps a violin, start to play a soothing symphony. And it sounds almost like an overture of some kind. And everything's dark. They begin to play and you hear the other instruments coming in. You almost might hear like the sounds of like people shifting in seats or like the small clack or, or, or of, uh, of uh, things on uh, music stands or like a musical paper being turned. And then the light begins to brighten on the stage and the curtain slowly opens. 
and there's nothing there. It's just still darkness. And then from the right side of the stage, as you're looking at it, stepping out, comes a small, child-sized clown. (laughs) Holding a paper dragon kite in his hands. And he slowly makes his way to the center of the stage. (laughs) And we'll see this show next week. (laughs) 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 Vicky's not even... I'm so mad. Vicky does not even want to play anymore. I'm so unbelievably mad. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man. Happy nightmares, everybody. I hope you have nightmares like I will be having. <laughs> oh, man. We'll see this show next week. Good night, everybody. Good night. Oh, my God. <laughs>